Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you six things that quality men are looking for in a woman, so stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your greatlifetv.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, successful women how you can attract the kind of quality man you want and the relationship that you're seeking as a result of stepping into the most alive and feminine version of you. No need for gimmicks, manipulation, or crazy tricks. Now, today I'm gonna be sharing with you six experiences, six qualities that men that you're looking for are interested in finding in a woman. The first one is a feeling of being alive. Why? Because this quality of aliveness, this quality of being infused with feminine light coming from you is something that a guy can't give to himself in any way, shape or form in a way that you can. One glance, one look, one expressive hug from you, he will feel something that he can't generate on his own in quite the same way. So that's something that any guy who has standards is going to want to feel from you. That means that if you want to be able to create that, you need to be able to generate it in your own life so that you have an overflow of it and you can extend it generously to someone who connects with you so that you can continue expressing that openness, that femininity, that aliveness, that passion that allows him to notice you, approach you, be inspired to connect with you, pursue you, the whole thing. Number two, he needs to know that you have standards. Why? Because a guy is gonna put you in one of different categories. The one broad category would be someone he has fun with. Another broad category would be someone he looks up to to get married, potentially. So the standards that you have will in great measure influence which bucket he's putting you into. I'm not saying this is cool or fair, I'm just saying this is what happens and women do the same thing in their own unique way. So if you want a guy to put you in the this is a potential wife category, then you need to have standards. Standards for showing up, standards for when to have sex, standards for how you connect with them, standards for how alive you are, standards for when you say yes, when you say no. So understand that the fear of him never showing up again is something that happens when you, when you set a boundary, but if you don't set that boundary, you'll only have the wrong guys connecting with you, the guys that only want something quick, fun, uh, non-committal, and that's basically the opposite of what you want. Number three, a guy who is quality, as a commitment-minded man wants for you to communicate what you want without drama. What does that mean? The, most, the more direct the statement, the less you ask him to guess and, 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 and just go inside this labyrinth of impossibilities to finally get to the other side of the rainbow and discover what it is you were thinking all the time. The clearer you are in expressing what it is that you want the less games that you play, the less passive aggressiveness, the less, I, I'm not talking to you right now because I'm upset, I just tell him why you're upset. Instead of playing hard to get, be clear about what you need to feel respected in being pursued. Uh, number four, guys who are quality want to feel admiration from the person that they're connecting with, but, and it's a big one, they need to admire that person as well. So, I mean, if a guy get, feels admiration from someone that he doesn't respect or feel admiration towards, that's gonna be one feeling. It's, I guess it's nice, but if he feels admiration from someone he admires and that having standard and showing up with light is gonna be a big bucket as to why he will admire you, not just your accomplishments, but what he feels when he connects with you. You could be the most accomplished woman. If he doesn't feel it when he connects with you, then he's not going to admire you quite the same way. So he wants to feel admiration from you and you need to be admirable as well to him. Why? Because then it's more meaningful than someone whose high value is admiring him. And that's very powerful. He feels better about himself. He feels better about you. Number five, he needs someone. He needs a woman who's open to receiving. He needs someone who is willing to go past independence and into interdependence. I'm not saying uh, codependence. I'm not saying someone who depends on him for her own fulfillment, but someone who's willing to be open who's open to receiving. Why? Because if he wants to do things for you and you reject him constantly because you don't want to lose your independence, then he's not going to feel like he can add value to your life. And guess what? He's going to connect with someone maybe not as smart as you are, maybe not as beautiful as you are, but who actually allows herself to receive 
at the depth of the feminine is receiving, at the depth of the masculine is offering something. Think even about intercourse. How does intercourse take place? A guy will actually enter you. That's the physical embodiment, biological embodiment of this dynamic. So if he cannot offer you something, if you're unwilling to receive it because you feel, well, I don't need anything from anyone, then he's not going to have what he needs to know that he can create a sustainable relationship with you and he'll move forward. So I'm not saying become dependent on him, but I am saying be open to receiving from him. Number six, he needs someone who's self-ignited. Why? Because the last thing he wants is to feel that your happiness is dependent upon him. The last thing he wants is to feel like he needs to change the world for you to actually feel fulfilled. He wants to be able to bring something to the table, but he needs to know that you're not relying on him to create and to feel a void that can only be filled through your own self-expression. Hope this is helpful, meaningful to you in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel and share a little comment with me here telling me what you learned, what you liked most about this video. And number three, uh, on the first link in the description of this video, I've placed a masterclass that can show you how to take these concepts deeper and understand what it takes to enter a relationship, a meaningful, powerful relationship with less fear, less pain than you've had in the past. So all you do is click on the first link, enter your name and email, and you'll be redirected to that masterclass. Last thing I'll share is if you want some help, accountability, hand-holding for the process, not just videos, but you want actual coaching, then second link under the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.